Before starting this video, I want to say thank you for being patient with me. For those who do not know, I have schizoaffective disorder depressed type with BPD, and though I am on proper medication, there are times when my brain slips into darkness. With there, I find it hard to do much of anything. That to me doesn't sound like an excuse for not putting up videos, but it is the truth. My apologies. Disclaimer. Please forgive me now for there may be mispronunciations in this video. In Osceola County, Florida, there's a local legend about the dead man's oak that has been passed down for generations. However, there is very little information on this ghost story. The first legend alleges that some Spaniards captured a man on a white horse in the vicinity of the dead man's oak. They strung him up and beheaded him beneath the tree for having committed a crime against the Spanish. This was over 100 years ago. Now a headless horseman on a white horse can be seen at midnight roaming around this old oak tree. And in some accounts, he is said to be chasing people. The most recent sightings was in February 2000 that I could find. The problem with this story is that this was a hostile Indian territory during the Spanish period, and it seems unlikely that Europeans, including the Spaniards or even criminals on the run would have been foolish enough to venture into these parts. The second legend tells of a man being hanged from the oak for cattle rustling, and it is his ghost that has been scaring folks, though this spirit retains his head. If we were to ignore the Indian territory being hostile, this version has more historical credibility, since this part of Florida has always been the heart of Florida's cattle country. A little less heard of legend claims that a man was hung by the KKK for stealing a horse, and apparently nothing will grow underneath this tree. When the moon is full, you can see a man hanging from the tree. It's hard to say where the dead man's oak is. Sources say that it is 18 miles south of Kissimmee, and about 10 miles south of St. Cloud, or 2 miles north of Canoe Creek, or somewhere on the road of Kennonsville. What do you think of the dead man's oak and its headless horseman? Did you like this video? Want to support this channel? Feel free to check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, hauntings, alien abductions, serious killers, and much more. Can't support me there? Like, comment, and subscribe here.